Hi, and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Icon Airflight Helmet. It's Icon's distinctively styled street helmet that costs from £199.99 up to £262.99, depending on the colour scheme that you want. <laughs> This helmet looks like nothing else on the market and some of the paint schemes that you can get for this helmet are the kind that only Icon would produce. No other helmet manufacturer would go anywhere near them. They are unique to say the least. Something else that's unique about this helmet is the visor. It's one of the most distinctive parts of this helmet and it extends down past the chin bar like no other helmet I've ever seen does that. It locks down in place with a final push there completely seals across the front of the chin bar there. The way the visor sits across the front of the chin bar means there's no room on the outside for a switch to operate the chin vent. So Icon have done which what quite a few helmet manufacturers are starting to do and they've put the switch on the inside. So it's operated from a slide switch on the inside of the chin bar and it's down for closed, up for open. The visor itself is anti-fog coated. Lots of the customer reviews that we've had on Sports Bike Shop have been really positive about that and say that it works quite well, that you don't need any extra protection. But for those people who are like me and tend to overpower an anti-fog coating, there is an optional upgrade visor that has pinlock pins on it and then you can buy the pinlock insert to give you that extra protection against misting. There are other visors available for this helmet, you don't have, just have to go for a practical upgrade of fitting one with a pin lock. There are all manner of tinted and iridium visors that are available for this helmet. And some of the models actually come with that visor in the box. We'll put the link to the visor and the insert in the product description for the video. In terms of ventilation, as well as the chin vent around the front, you have two intakes on the top, which are operated by pretty traditional slide switches to cover that with air coming through. Something to bear in mind with those is that the internal sun visor, which I'll get to in a minute, when that's raised, the visor blocks the intake of air. So if you want air to be coming through those, you're either gonna to need to have that sun visor down or you're gonna to need to remove it. If you've got them functioning, the air comes in through those two, runs through channels through the polystyrene liner, and then is able to exit through these mesh covered exhaust vents at the rear. If you do get an additional visor in the box or go for one as an optional upgrade, then it's really simple to change the visor on this helmet. You might not look it at first, but it's just a case of prizing that plate away from there and it's a resistance fit. And then putting it back, these two pins just slot inside those two holes on the shell here and push it back in place, snap it through. So dead simple. So let's go back to that internal sun visor, which Icon call a drop shield, much cooler than a sun visor. Operates on this slide switch here, down for up, up for down. And it comes in a variety of colors. It depends on the paint scheme, which one you get as standard. This one comes with the red iridium. There are, again, optional drop shields. You can replace them. It's quite a simple matter of just clipping them into two mounts at the side and there's a range of colors that are available so you can choose what you prefer in there. You can have a tinted one, you can have amber, or you can have iridium colors like this one here. And there are extra personalization options with this helmet as well. The aero spoiler at the back, which again on this one is a red iridium, that's just resistance fit and you can pop that free and you can replace that with one of seven colors to suit your particular style. If you want to go down that personalization route, both the spoilers and the optional drop shields, we've got links to those in the description for this video so you can explore the color ranges that are available. Moving to the interior, it's easily removable liner that is moisture wicking and antibacterial. There are recesses behind the cheek pads where you can fit intercom speakers and there's even a removable chin curtain here which acts like a draft excluder to keep things a bit warmer and a bit quieter. The fastener is a D-ring which I would normally associate with a sportier helmet and that's something that comes across in some customer reviews for the helmet. 
that this is a bit fiddly. We've had on the Sports Bike Shop website around 60 customer reviews of this helmet so far, and pretty much everyone who's reviewed it bought this helmet for the styling. But again, almost universally, once they've bought that hel helmet, they've been really happy with the practical performance of it. Noise possibly is an issue. It's something that I found in my time with this helmet that it's not the, not the quietest, and the customer reviews back that up. That is a really subjective issue. It depends greatly on your bike, how you ride, and the way the helmet fits you. But what I would say is, with this helmet, if it's something you really want, it's worth making sure you have a decent pair of earplugs to um, reduce those noise levels inside the helmet. One of the other things that comes across quite frequently within that is weight. It is a fairly heavy helmet. It's 1,737 grams, which is quite weighty for a helmet and the third thing that does come across quite a bit if you explore those customer reviews quite deeply is that it's not the easiest helmet to put on and to take off at first. The, the shape of the aperture here is quite square and quite tight, but most of those customers, I'd say, if not all of those customers, have quite quickly got used to the way the helmet goes on and comes off again. But most people who've bought this helmet have been really, really happy with it. And let's face it, practical considerations are probably secondary with an air flight, which is all about that distinctive look. This is probably the coolest motorcycle helmet on the market at the moment. It's something distinctive, unique, unlike any other. And it's really refreshing to have something that doesn't just keep going down the same avenue as all the other helmets. I hope that's covered everything you want to know about the Icon air flight. But if there's anything that we've missed, please pop a question in the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible with an answer. But otherwise, thanks for watching.